In this video, we will understand about the production process of cement. So basically there are two processes. One is known as the wet processes, other one is known as the dry processes. As the name suggests, the wet processes, there is more water content is used, whereas in the dry process, it's less water content is used during the production. Now, before going through this module, cement production is a very simple process but however students tend to mug up the data it's not required you just need to understand step by step and once you do that you will going to remember this for rest of your life but before that why you need to learn the process of manufacturing the cement because most of the civil engineer in their entire span of their practice at construction site they will not be required to produce the cement. Now I'll come to this question that why do we need to learn the process of production of cement? And the main reason being once you understand the basic behavior of the chemicals used in the cement, you will be able to understand this material in much greater depth. Understanding the cement as a construction material now that is one thing at which any civil engineer must have the mastery and must have the clearer concepts so now as now first as try to understand the process step by step you have already gone through the video in the module and you now have the little idea that what is happening and how it is being produced now before going into the step by step process there are two things which you should always remember what is the raw material which is used for cement it is the limestone calcium carbonate so any state having a calcium carbonate they will be having a cement plant because that is the basic raw material and then there is one material which prevent the flash setting now what is this flash setting when a water is added to cement it should give us some time so that we can place that cement in a concrete place cement or concrete in a way we want if we want to cast in column then we have the time that we produce a concrete and we can transport it and place it at the required desired location it should not happen we added water and as soon as we added water it gets set in this case we will not be able to use cement so we need a retarder which slow down the reaction pace of cement when water is added so that is the flash setting and this retarder is the gypsum now you have the basic information now let us begin with the wet process now the first step simple calcium carbonate or limestone their queries are available in certain states then the companies go there they establish their plant the first thing that they do is they get the raw material crush them into a small fragment so that it can be handled so the first step is simple getting the raw material now the second step in the cement production plant there is a ball or tube mill where water is added to this small fragmented limestone it's slurry formed with 30 to 50 percent of water content so till now the cement company has get the limestone break it into pieces and added the water and made it a slurry now what they do to this slurry this slurry is then poured into a slurry tank and basins where it is kept in agitated conditions by means of rotating arms or blowing air for compressor now step 3 is very simple once this slurry is prepared then they have one store where they can keep this slurry but this slurry should not get uh, hardened so they keep on rotating it with the help of a blowing or air compressor so their objective is to ensure that this slurry is not in a idle condition it's keep on rotating so they have different mechanical arrangement for that now the third thing is they have certain ways by which they check the chemical composition so as per the requirement they change the chemical composition and chemical composition is adjusted 
now once we'll go more into the module you will understand it what all chemicals are there but here we should understand this one slurry is uh, being stored in an agitated condition then it's a requirement of a company to get a good quality of cement to ensure that chemical composition is as per the technical requirement now this is important now we have this slurry which is keep on keep keeping on rotating in a, a slurry tank now from this slurry tank we spray this slurry on a rotatory clean against hot hanging chain now again there is an arrangement so that we can increase the temperature of this slurry to begin the chemical reaction so this arrangement is there in a rotatory clean against a hot hanging chain so there is a slurry which is get sprayed into a arrangement where the temperature raises so in step 6 we can see its temperature raises from normal temperature to 1500 degrees celsius now this is the one thing which is react to convert the raw material into the cement now when the raw material or this slurry get such a high temperature then we can see in step 7 about 20 to 30% of the material get fused and lime silica and alumina get recombined so basic in basic words or in very simple words when the temperature rises then the material raw material get fused and there is certain chemical reactions which take place and lime silica and alumina get recombined now in step 8 we'll see now this fused mass turn into a nodular form of size 3 mm to 20 mm known as clinker now what happens in this clean rotatory clean where very high temperature is there the material which is there in slurry tank is sprayed its temperature is raised and the material get fused this fused material converts into a nodular form nodular form means the particles of this material or the uh, this chemical composition has the average size from 3 mm to 20 mm and this is known as the clinker now in step 9 now this clinker has a temperature of 1500 degrees celsius now it is again cooled down and from this rotatory clean it is stored in the silos where 3 to 5% of gypsum is added to prevent the flash setting so once this nodular form fused mass clinkers are produced then it is separately stored in the silos where we add gypsum the adding of gypsum is very very important if we do not add gypsum you understand this if we do not add gypsum as soon as you add the water within few minutes the cement will set you will not be having any time to transport it to the desired location you will not be able to use it as a construction material so we must add 3 to 5% of gypsum it's a retarder retarder for what when water is added then it reduce the space of chemical reactions now gypsum is also added now what is the next step now we see when we open a cement bag as usually cement is very fine we never see a clinker of 3 mm to 20 mm so in step 10 the company use the machineries to break down this clinker into a very fine particles through a ball mill now you should ask yourself that why we cannot use clinker why we need to break it into a fine particles there is a technical reason behind that and you should question everything once you question once you start questioning you'll going to get lot of answers now let me explain this here only the clinker when if i add water to a clinker what will happen this clinker will form a cementitious material but the surface area will be very less but if i divide or break it into more fine particles then this fine particles will having a more surface area more the surface area more easy will be the reaction with water more easy will be the reaction with water more will be the strength of the final product so that's why company break it into a very fine particles now step 11 you all are aware of this then it is packed into a bags the as usual commercial bags is 50 kg and it's then supplied to the construction site 
so this is the basic way in which the cement is produced through the wet process now this is a very simple process you must understand it that what is happening at each step and once you are very clear with each step you will never be required to revise this particular concept and through understanding of this particular steps will open up answers for lot of questions in the coming module